What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Thank you so much to those of you listening on Alexa and on the podcast, Spotify, Apple, Google, really appreciate it. And thanks to those of you watching on IGTV and YouTube. Right now we're gonna get into something very important for Shopify store owners and WordPress WooCommerce store owners. You need Google Tag Manager installed on your website so that you can make sure all of your data is tracking properly and you can make data-driven marketing decisions. But today we're gonna focus on Shopify. This tip is around how to create a Google Tag Manager account and then how to install it in your Shopify store. So here goes. All right, so step number one is just going ahead and creating a Google Tag Manager account. Set up a container, name your container, and choose web for it. And it's going to give you some code. You're gonna copy that code. The, uh, there's some code that goes in the header and some code that goes in the body. After you've created your code snippet, you're gonna go into your Shopify store. And the first thing you're gonna do is go into sales channels online store themes actions edit code and essentially what you're going to be doing is going into your uh, liquid file and copying the header code and putting it in the theme.liquid file at the top of the header so you're finding your you're finding the end of your header that's usually the smartest thing to do and then go ahead and paste your Google Tag Manager snippet towards the end of the header at the theme.liquid file and then click save. Now it's always a good idea to go back in and validate that you just did that and see it in your source code. So you can see here that we do that. And then the next step is kind of going to be to go in to the checkout.liquid file. If you are a Shopify premium member, you will have a checkout.liquid file and you will need to insert the Google Tag Manager snippet as high in the header as possible in the checkout.liquid file as well. If you're not a Shopify premium member and you're the lowest level Shopify member, you will not have the checkout.liquid file and you can skip this step. Next, you've got this second code snippet here, right? So you're gonna paste that immediately after the opening body tag is the instructions in Tag Manager. But in Shopify, you're gonna copy it and you're gonna go back into your theme.liquid file and paste it at the end of the body tag as well. And then you'll want to do that same exercise where you right click on the website, view page source, and validate that the code snippet is in there, that second code snippet, at the end of the body tag. And then lastly, you're going to go into Google Tag Manager, and the most fun part is clicking submit and publishing your initial installation of your tag. And uh, you'll see this lovely sing like no one is listening message after you click publish in Google Tag Manager. Thank you for watching today's data driven daily tip. This is a critical step in setting up your Shopify e commerce store to track your data properly. Google Tag Manager allows you to integrate with Google AdWords and Google Analytics and other platforms to aggregate data properly and fire off tags and triggers. For more on Google Tag Manager and more on Shopify and Google Analytics, visit dataoveropinions.com. And if you don't have our Alexa flash briefing skill yet to get your data-driven daily tips, go to datadrivendaily.com to uh, add our flash briefing to your Alexa daily routine. Thanks everybody for watching and listening. Paul Hickey here. This has been your data-driven daily tip. Have a great day.